Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Red Nitrate here, back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 tutorial. So today we are continuing uh, on with our, uh, covering our, the updates from uh, the most recent uh, console additions to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, these came out about a month ago, a bit over a month ago for PlayStation 4 and just came out in the last couple of days for uh, Xbox One. Um, so uh, today we're covering uh, fast travel. Now, uh, fast travel has technically been in the game from the very beginning, um, but until the most recent update, uh, w once you'd purchased the option, you were only able to uh, fast travel from your gang's campsite, wherever that might be. Um, uh, which was, and look, it was a good feature, but uh, it was fairly limited as to when you could use it, which was a, a bit unfortunate. But some great news, because as a part of these uh, new additions that have been uh, rolled out to a console that were originally only available on PC, uh, this has changed. Um, and it's, uh, we've now got what we had in the original Red Dead Redemption, which is uh, you're able to fast travel essentially from anywhere on the map uh, by just setting up a, a, a campfire. Um, you know, through your menu or whatever, and so, y you know, you can do this uh, anywhere that you can set up a campfire on the map, which essentially means just about anywhere. Now, in order to do this, if you haven't done this already, you will just need to come over to your uh, gang camps ledger. So, we'll open up the ledger. Now, I've already purchased these upgrades, which you'll see in a moment, but I'll just show you what you need to do. So, just flip over a few pages and come to lodging. Um, so when you start out with this, you'll just have the bare bones shelter there at the top on the right hand page. Um, so before you can even have the option to purchase fast travel, you will unfortunately have to upgrade uh, Dutch's living quarters. Now I know it's a bit annoying and it's $220 which early on in the game is, is quite a lot especially when the fast travel itself costs $325 but we got to do what we got to do. So purchase the first things first first <laughs> um, and then once that's been purchased you want to purchase the next one down which is called next in line uh, where it says Arthur wants a map to help plan journeys. Uh, so purchase that, $325, a little bit steep, but very worth it. So close that. Now once that's been purchased, um, you can fast travel from your gang's camp, like I said before, and I'll show you that quickly now, just so you know that you have that option there. Now where did we put the map? Usually you can actually kind of see the map, but I'm not really seeing it there. Um, where did it, it's been a while since I've been on chapter. Ah, yeah, here we go. Here's the map. It's been a while since I've been on chapter three. So yeah, all right. So normally this was the only way that you could do it. You come to your map um, and you select your location from there. Um, but as I say, that that was that was fairly limiting. So instead of that, what we'll do is we'll come out. We'll grab grab my horse, um, and I'll be able to show you what we can do from there. So, jump on the horse, quickly ride out of camp. Oh, now, this is just... I'm so stoked that they finally added all of this stuff to console, because this is just such a massive time saver. Really, really good thing that they've added. So we'll come out, come to a location where we can set up a camp. Now just remember that you definitely 
will not be able to do this unless you've purchased the relevant camp upgrades that I showed you just before. But come to a point where you want to set up a camp, do so, however, whatever your chosen method of doing so is. Wait for this to load up, and then you will see in the bottom right hand corner with your sleep, craft cooked, etc., is fast travel. So we'll select that, and then you are given a list of pretty much a good selection of locations that you have visited previously in the game. Um, so obviously, I haven't, uh, th th this is a chapter three save, I haven't explored too much of the game, but it should pretty much give you access to you know, all of the major areas that, you, that you've been to before. So for the purposes of this, you know, we'll, we'll travel somewhere really, really far away. We'll go to Coulter, back where the game starts. You know, normally this would take you, oh, 15, 20 minutes of riding. Um, you know, even if you were, you know, smashing horse stimulants and all of that. So let's just select that and just see how much this has been revolutionised. And while you're waiting, you get to see some beautiful visuals of the game's graphics. <laughs> Actually, uh, this menu, uh, the, the, the load times uh, for this fast travel system are quite long, but you honestly don't mind. I mean, that scenery is just amazing. Arthur riding into Coulter. And there you have it. As you can see, we are in Coulter. So we're all the way out here, and we've just travelled from outside our gang camp about here. So in a matter of 30 seconds, we've covered all of this distance. Absolutely incredible. So, I hope that you're happy with the new update. I certainly am. This is a massive time saver and I couldn't be more thrilled with it. So, um, if you found the guide useful, uh, please hit the like button down below. And if you want to see more content like this, more guides, uh, more fun videos, please hit the subscribe button as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, this is Red Nitrate, and I will see you all on the next video. Peace everyone, bye now.